There's a little Rhode Island company that has made Sea Glider, and basically it's a combination boat, hydrofoil, and airplane. It takes off, you know, from a dock, like a boat, gets up to speed, it climbs above the water so it gets away from the resistance of the water, and then once it reaches enough forward airspeed for the wings to generate some lift, she lifts out of the water and progresses along. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. It's I'm back in the studio today with founder and chief editor Bill Moore. How's it going today, Bill? It is going well, thank you very much. There's a little Rhode Island company that has made a uh, what they call the Sea Glider, and basically it's a combination boat, hydrofoil, and airplane. <laughs> and there's some pictures of it there. But here's the concept: is that this will be all, it's all electric. There's no hydrogen or anything like that involved. It's an electric with batteries involved. Has about, I think it said about 180 mile range. Now, the way this thing works is it takes like the old uh, seaplanes of the 1930s, the Boeings and, and those, takes off, you know, from a dock, like a boat. So it has a hydrofoil. So, so when it gets, you know, just like the America's Cup yachts, racers and things like that, they're using this hydrofoil concept. So it, it, it gets up to speed, it climbs above the water, so it gets away from the resistance of the water. And then once it reaches enough forward airspeed for the wings to generate some lift, she lifts out of the water and progresses along. Now, what's interesting, it's called a sea glider because it never gets above the water more than its wingspan. And that's, a, I forget the exact, remember the concept, but basically what it's doing is it's, those wings are creating a cushion of air. So it's providing some lift, but more importantly, it's providing a cushion of air below the aircraft. So as long as it stays low above the water, no more than the span of the wings, it can, it can fly and it'll do, I, maybe it was 180 miles an hour, I think, or, or not sure. But that's the concept. So, so this particular company is really starting to get some serious, you know, potential orders or interest in it. And they are move. Apparently, they've got an order out of a company, um, uh, I forget, Mitsui Logistics or something like that, to uh, to sell a bunch of them and operate a bunch of them in Japan. Because as we've talked about before, Japan is obviously a series of islands. Most of the population located the co along the coast. So an aircraft like this moving at, uh, you know, 180 knots, just skimming above the water would be really an ideal kind of a commuter aircraft. I think this one, the first one that they're building, which is I think called the Viceroy, seats about 12 passengers. They have a larger version, which I think is like closer to 70 seats or something like that, that they're envisioning. Oh, wow. It's getting big. Yeah. I haven't seen whether they've actually, now those are, are those illustrations or are those real full-scale aircraft? I don't know because I haven't seen that much information on them of late other than, you know, this article and some photographs. So I think I've got in my database three stories about this company. So. Yeah, well, one of the stories was about Southwest Airlines as decided to join in a study to see how efficient it would be operating around the Hawaiian islands. Yep, so Hawaii, Japan. And of course, there's a comparable company over in Norway that's looking to do very similar concept, very, you know, uh, ground effect aircraft, I think they're called, um, that uh, they can use to connect communities along the, you know, Norwegian fjords and things. So there are places where this obviously would make sense. I think there's another company that is looking to operate out of Tampa Bay and uh, connect some of the communities along uh, Florida's coast. So. Uh, th this is this is promising, and they're all electric, um, and the power requirements are not the same as you would have if you had to fly at fifteen or twenty thousand feet. Um, these, like I said, can take advantage of that ground effect, and that saves them energy. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.